Headed off out of Neil's Gap. It is brisk and chilly, so we are going to get a move on, get up some hills, hopefully warm up, and we are headed to Low Gap Shelter. Well, it's quite weird because it's clear up here, but you can see the layer of like fog down there. Getting no love and getting way too much, I pray that you're the one who cares for me. Cares enough to keep me safe. Just like the sun. Well, just did another hill that was killer for the knees. Oh man, they are hurting. Now I'm in the predicament of do I take the trail or do I take the road? The road is not quite as steep, not as rocky, not as many roots, but the trail is the trail. But I've hiked the trail, this, I've hiked this bit of this trail twice already. Ultimate qualm. I guess I'll do the good hiker thing and take the trail. Here's what the trail looks like. It's very steep. Half a mile of just painful uphill. That's where I was. That's the hill I came up. And I'm exhausted. Can't be trusted, can't be trusted, can't be trusted me. Got some trail magic at Hog Pen Gap, which was so exciting. It's always lovely when you walk into a gap and all of a sudden there's a truck with its back open, giving you snacks and drinks. Oh, it was great. Now I feel nice and powered up, ready to crush these last four and a half miles to camp. Just like the sun, you showed me which way I should go. Yeah, just like the wind, you pulled me up when I was low. I am. It is wet and rainy. I'm headed out early in an attempt to book it to the next camp so I can get in the shelter again. Headed to Blue Mountain today. It is a sloshy, muddy mess. It is a full on cone head type of day. I know you've been hurt, I know that you're trying. The bus is complaining, your phone's always ringing. Outside, there's the cold wind, inside, the monotony. Baby, we need an exit from this Honey, we need that sweet release I know it will feel from the electric feelings You and me all night, yeah, I'll be alright If you close your eyes Spending another night in the shelter, trying to keep warm Well, I'm deciding to have a very lazy day today Actually making breakfast at the camp that I'm at right now and then just gonna take it easy. My ankle's kind of bothering me, so I have taped that up. And we'll get there when we get there. Well, it's only eight miles, so even if I walk quite slowly, I will probably still make it sometime around noon. It's kind of bittersweet. Never thought I'd come back. It's been a while since I packed up my things and left I recall it still in my bed up truck I didn't look back didn't give up I got my first real kiss behind the coffee that tree that was in that last video we heard it fall like it woke up almost the entire shelter and practically the entire camp to the point of everybody got up and went to see because it sounded like a bear had like hit the food kales. We didn't know what it was, but it was a very loud noise. So the answer of the tree falls in the forest, does anybody hear it? Yes, you most certainly do. And it sounds like, I don't even know how to describe what it sounded like, but it was intense and scary and really woke me up right in the middle of a very nice deep sleep dream. For the place where I grew and we are back in the fog. Once you get up high enough, all of a sudden you're living in clouds again. So on the gaps, 
We've had a little bit of clear. No sun though. But then as soon as you go up, bang, clouds. Making what could be a very terrible decision to press on from Trey Mountain Shelter, continuing to the next shelter, which is called Deep Gap, which is about eight miles from here. So basically doubling the original plan for the day, making it about a 16, 17-ish mile day, which is much longer than I was ever planning on doing this early. But I was at camp at 11.15 again, and it was just a little bit too early to be there. And it was so, so miserable because it's so cold. And just gross. It's just super, super gross. And that's one of the higher elevation shelters. So it was really cold up there. So pressing on, hoping for the best. Just gonna take it real nice and slow and gentle. Not to try not to get injured. And then tomorrow will be a very chill three and a half miles into the gap. Finally, the sun came out. Let's hope it stays that way for at least a little while. Here we are, swag of the Blue Ridge sign. Still no idea what that means, but swag of the Blue Ridge. Kelly's Knob, the most worthless pud in all the land. And like the view's kind of nice, but there's so many trees. For it to be that much work, flipping pud. Puttiest pud and pud land of all things pud. I hate that. I, I swear, if I ever come back to Georgia, I gotta find a way to not do this. Never now. thought I'd come back. It's been a while since I packed up my things and left. I recall it still in my bed. Well, spending the night here at Deep Gap Shelter, very exciting because I've actually never been to this shelter. Um, it's getting brisk again, so I'm gonna head to sleep or at least get my sleeping bag. And then tomorrow we have a four-ish mile hike out to the Gap and going into town, gonna do laundry, shower, get hot food, get new food because I am pretty much out and uh, spend a day out of the rain. at about 7.20 and hauled at really, really fast to this gap here, which is Dix Creek Gap. We are now headed into a hostel for a day. Gonna wash some clothes and do all that fun stuff. And uh, looking at maybe getting a hitch or maybe just walking the half mile because it is 0.6-ish around the bend. drove us to the lovely little town of Clayton and now I'm headed to the Huddle House to get some lunch and then headed to Walmart to get a resupply. Not quite sure what we're doing today, but we'll figure it out. Maybe staying in town. So yeah, it's gross. And honestly, I am not feeling too great today. Like just mentally not in it. And this weather is not helping. So we may just try and hang out here, sleep on the couch. Maybe we'll go into town and get a hotel room. Maybe we'll end up hiking out if it gets better. I don't really know, but hoping for the best and trying to you know, just stay positive. This cat and I are the best of friends. Went to town and came back. Now hanging out. We acquired a cat and 
sitting by the fire, hanging out, trying to gonna maybe take a nap and see where the day goes. Headed to sleep now. <laughs>